everyone, my name is Alicia Workman and I make videos around relationships, dating and self-love. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel to get more content just like this. And in this video, I'm going to help you with ways to manage your conflict in your relationships and help you get through these really hard times that you can face and come out the other end. Tip number one is look at your partner as if they are a five-year-old. And I know that that can sound really bizarre, but when we are in those moments of conflict, if we were to look at our partner as if they were five years old, we suddenly have compassion and empathy towards them and we almost feel sorry for them and we can see why and how their inner child comes out. And you can start doing the same thing for yourself. And so what this does is it makes you realize that really inside of them when they feel maybe defensive, under attack in some way, hurt, they do go back to that inner child as do you. Usually when we're in an argument, we're looking at what we're going through and we're imagining that they can fully understand that and that they're perhaps ignoring us that they're not understanding or they're not caring for us. Tip number two is don't act in the moment when you're having all of those emotions coming through you, even directly afterwards, even when things have settled, just hold your pace for a while and don't act on anything. And if you're going to talk to somebody, make sure that you're talking to somebody really level headed or somebody that won't take sides. Because if you have somebody that's going to take your partner side, suddenly you will become really defensive. And all of a sudden that relationship that you have with that person will not be the same and vice versa. If they're only taking your side, it's the same deal. So you want to make sure that you're talking to somebody really level headed, that's giving you fair advice, somebody that you trust and somebody that is happy to go through the waves and motions with you and that understands relationships and understand these ups and downs that happen. Tip number three is knowing that your partner is another human. I can't tell you how many people I have seen getting to big breakups with their partners or getting to even divorces with husbands or wives. And then they say that they don't even know who that person is or they've turned into such a stranger or somebody that has just gone completely wild and off the edge and somebody that they never knew before. And the point to this is that at the end of the day, we're all human and I've done this. If you look back in your life, perhaps you've done this. When we're triggered and we go through these really hurtful relationship breakups or whatever it is, then sometimes we see that our partners really go into these behaviors that we don't desire and that nobody de desires. And we do that too. And it's the same in arguments. We go into these behaviors and it's part of being a human. So we need to remember that we're human and we're dealing with another human and we could be capable of anything. We're capable of being manipulative. We're capable of hurting somebody else. We're capable of all of these things. So bring it back to knowing that they are another human and that doesn't mean to say that you let them treat you in that way, but it's having that understanding and vice versa, the understanding for yourself that we know we need to forgive. We need to let them know a standard. We need to let them know what we like and what we don't like. And we need to work together as a team to say that the behaviors that we did at that time is not the best. And knowing that your partner, if triggered and if put in that situation, can become any of those personality traits. And that's really common for anybody. Nobody is um, exempt from, from any of that. So we can go to any of those behaviors at any time. So just remember that. Remember to always keep really respectful where you can and then come back to the basics and take a break where you need to. If my tips are helping you so far, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. It really helps me get my videos seen and get this word out there. And now to tip number four is when you're having big arguments with your partner and you know, whether it's husband or wife, and I want you to look at what is it that they deeply desire? And even what is it that you deeply desire? Because sometimes we're fighting over money, but what we really desire in that moment is power. We're trying to get some control over our life. Maybe we're arguing about being respected. And that's a really big thing for us. We want to be really respected. We want to be seen. We want somebody to care for us. We want to be shown that we're loved. So go and look for that deeper inner desire for what it is that they're needing and wanting at that time. And that is the message that we really need to look for and go, okay, how is it that I can give that to my partner? How is it that I can give this to them what they need? And what do I need? And if you can't quite work out what it is, let them know that there's something that perhaps you're needing or something that you know that they need and try and help them get the answer and give them your own answer so that you guys can help each other out because you'll find that when you have a conversation you say I'm actually really scared in this moment I'm scared that you might leave me I'm scared that you might abandon me 
the way that they come back to you is not going to be the same as if you go to them in a much more aggressive way and saying, I can't believe you did this. You've just left me here. They'll come back on the defense straight away. So everything can be said depending how you say it. So go and look for their deeper needs and share your deeper needs and share them with each other to make sure that your relationships come together and that when this goes on next time, you always know this space to come back to and look for the deeper need. And the last thing that I really want to uh, leave you with is to tell you that when you're fighting always work on fighting towards peace are you both fighting towards getting that peace are you arguing towards peace or are you arguing towards war and so try and look for that and go well what is it that we both really want here so i hope that this video has been really helpful for you and these are things that have helped me in my relationship and when i go through hard and struggling times. These are the basics that really help me out. So I hope they've been great for you. And I look forward to seeing you again next time.